two point charges three q minus t yeah separated by distance a so this is a for each of the arrangements find the monopole moment dipole moment and approximate potential do you remember what the uh, monopole moment is it has to do with the total charge here yeah so uh, uh, right so for part a here, should I let you attempt before I solve yeah. okay attempt. for the first one you just add them uh, the the monopole moment for part a all you do is you just add them so uh, Q that that's just basically another word for Q total yeah it's 3 Q minus Q Oh, but it's not really, doesn't depend on the spatial coordinates. Of right, it's trying just to 2Q. Oh, okay, we're not trying to find the actual Q. Well, uh, you're trying to find the monopole moment and then the dipole moment. You remember, let me do the dipole moment. Here. The, if you remember, the dipole moment is the summation, since these are point charges, yeah. discrete. So you do a summation of QI R prime I. Okay. So, and R prime would be the uh, distance, like usual, from the origin to the charge, right? And there's two charges here, from I equal one to Q. So for the first charge minus Q, what's R prime? Zero, because it's right at the origin. Yeah. There's no R prime on the first one, right? right? And then the second one, three Q, what's R prime there? A in the Z direction right so that means the dipole moment oops sorry that's not B that's 2 of A we're still on part A so uh, the dipole moment is just uh, this is 0 this would be 3 Q it's a vector 3 Q A in the Z direction right And then uh, to find the potential, right? So my potential, so this is the third part in part A, would be V monopole plus V dipole, right? Well, V monopole is Z, it's Q over 4 pi epsilon R, Q total, right? The, the monopole term. Plus, uh, what's V dipole? Uh, he says find it in spherical coordinates at large R. So, you know, at some random distance here. R. Okay. Yeah. Whatever that is. Okay, so plus, uh, so the dipole uh, uh, potential, as you remember from the chapter, uh, P dot r hat dipole one dot r hat uh, over four pi epsilon r squared okay okay this guy is zero because, oh sorry no it's not zero right it's two cube so uh, so but let's for a moment look at this what's p dot r Well, the dipole moment is in the z direction. Yeah. It's 3 Q A Z dot uh, R. Z dot R would just be uh, magnitude of Z, magnitude of R times the cosine the angle between them. But what's the angle between them? The angle between them is theta. So it'll be co just cosine theta because these are unit vectors. So this would be 3 Q A cosine theta. And now just plug that in. So we get V for part A to be Q total was 2 Q over 4 pi epsilon R, right? Plus 3 Q A uh, over Four uh, cosine theta over four pi epsilon r squared. 
This is already a circle coordinate because we have r at the first half. This should be v. Monopole here and dipole here. Okay. You wanna try D? Yeah. Try D. They're all somewhat slightly different. Okay, so for part B, uh, V, uh, let's do Q. Uh, the monopole is the same as A, 3Q minus Q, correct? And uh, at P, the dipole would be summation QI R prime I, I equal 1 to 2. So this would be uh, 3Q times 0 plus uh, it's at minus Q, right? times a in the negative z direction right so uh, once everything is said and done uh, this would be uh, qaz for the dipole moment for b okay so uh, So this was one, this is two, and then three would be the V would be the monopole term, which would be two Q over four by epsilon R, right? Plus okay, P dot R. So now we have Q A uh, Z same thing here z dot r would just be cosine theta over 4 pi epsilon r squared and so this would be so this is the monopole term this is the dipole so we would get 2q 4 pi epsilon r plus right uh, wait one second uh, it's P dot R, yeah, P dot R, so Z dot R, so this would be QA cosine theta over 4 pi epsilon R squared. So that's what you got for B. Two Q over 4 pi epsilon R plus QA cosine, okay. Uh, now for C. Let's go see what C looks like. Okay, so C mm, would be Q monopole would be three Q minus Q, yeah. Would be two Q. Same thing. So this is the first one, and for the second one, uh, the dipole moment summation on the two charges, Q i r prime i. So this would be uh, minus Q is at zero, and then uh, three Q is located. The r is a. In the direction of y so a away in the y direction so the dipole moment here would just be 3 q a y hat hmm? okay v monopole would be q q monopole which is 2 q over 4 pi epsilon r and for the dipole the formula is uh, r dot 1 over 4 pi epsilon uh, p dot r hat 
over r squared. Yeah? Okay, let's take a look at what p dot r is. So p dot r would be uh, 3qay y dot r. Okay. So there's many ways to do this y dot r, yeah? One way is to switch y into spherical coordinates. And uh, as we know, uh, in spherical coordinates, uh, y is 3qa could project uh, this into spherical coordinates that should be straightforward you get sine theta well the uh, this is a dot product so the only term that will pick up will be picked up by this dot product is the r term because the other two terms are perpendicular the r term in the y hat is sine theta sine phi right and then uh, one one QA sine theta sine phi and so uh, when you plug this in there you will get the total V hmm? uh, 2 Q over 4 pi epsilon R this is the monopole term plus that plus 3 Q a uh, uh, sine theta sine phi right so there's a phi term here notice over uh, 4 pi epsilon r squared that's what you got that's it all right questions so far